What is going on guys? Grave here. I'd like to talk about the information we just received over the last couple of days about new modes coming to Halo Infinite. Now I made a video talking about this a few days back saying, you know, the community was wondering when we were going to get new modes in Halo Infinite. Would this be a thing we would see this year? Would it be next year before we got to see any new modes added in? And I will say the team at 343, the community director there at 343, John, they are really good at as soon as the community starts talking about a, a topic, as soon as it gains traction, they make a post and answer these questions really quickly. And he made a post on Twitter talking about new modes being added in. And he says they're working on new modes as we speak. He said things like Fiesta, Tactical Slayer, which of course is SWAT, and Free For All Playlist should be added into the game before the end of the year. Of course, they're going to have their break at the end of the year for the holiday time. So they go home and spend time with their families. You know, these guys have been working on this game for a really long time now. So... It's a well-deserved break for them. But so they're planning on having a playlist with these you know, modes in it uh, out before the end of the year. He said their goal is to kind of add playlist in during events, try them out, and see if they want to place them in game. So if we look at the recent Fracture event we had, of course, we had the Fiesta playlist. So I guess that was kind of their test to see if they liked that playlist being in game. So it looks like they're going to add Fiesta in. It looks like they're going to add SWAT in. It looks like they're going to add Free For All in before the end of the year. He went on to say also they're looking at adding a Social Slayer playlist. And I know there's a lot of people out there that enjoy Big Team Battle but would like to see Big Team Slayer. That was a very popular thing in past Halo titles. He said, unfortunately, the Big Team kind of Social Slayer playlist probably will not be added in until the start of next year after the holiday time is over. But this will feature multiple variations of Halo Classic Deathmatch modes. He said he kind of hopes, you know, that everybody can understand that they're, you know, working hard as they can, uh, working hard as they can, but they will have some time off, you know, towards the end of the year around Christmas. They're going to get these other modes in and then start, uh, you know, next year they're going to go ahead and get that Social Slayer playlist added in as well. Of course, we will have the single player, you know, the story mode to play here before long within Halo Infinite. So there's a lot of things to look forward to, but I'm really it's a really good thing to hear. It's a really exciting thing to hear that they're already working on these modes because the community has just started talking about this. And just kind of, like I said, over the last you know week, players have been wondering when new modes come in. And the team at 343 went ahead and answered that question for us. So it looks like, uh, you know, Halo Infinite has a very bright future when it comes to the, you know, kind of communication between the community and, of course, 343. And it seems like they're adding a lot of things in. They're listening to the community. And I think this game is going to be able to, you know, keep its traction of how popular it's become since it's been released. A lot of people have been hopping in, playing. A lot of people have been returning to Halo. A lot of people are being first-time Halo players. And I think that's really great for the game. And as long as 343 can kind of keep up this, you know, whole idea of, you know, letting the community know exactly what they're working on and what they're doing, I think people will continue to play the game. Because overall, it has launched in a wonderful state. I think most of us can agree that the game... The game's playability, the game's enjoyability is absolutely phenomenal. I know there's a few people out there that do not like the, you know, the shop or the monetization state of the game, and that's definitely understandable. But when it comes to how the game plays, uh, you know, bugs, things like that, I think the game's in a really wonderful state right now. So anyway, guys, let me comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.